for yielding. H.J. Uh, Res 105 would, in fact, bestow honorary citizenship on General Bernardo de Galvez. Though not born in the United States, General Galvez was a true friend to our country who played an integral role in securing the independence of this nation. As governor of Spanish Louisiana, General Galvez provided American forces with funds, with arms and ammunition, and he provided military intelligence to the American commanders. After Spain's entry into the war, General Galvez recruited an army of American, Spanish, and French troops and set about a multi-year campaign that decimated British forces all along the Gulf Coast. General Galvez led successful campaigns in Louisiana, in Mississippi, and Alabama before embarking on his seminal victory at the Siege of Pensacola, where he captured the capital of British West Florida after a bloody two-month-long battle, during which he, in fact, was wounded by gunfire. General Galvez's victory left the British with no naval forces or bases along the Gulf Coast and prevented British troops and supplies from reaching the battles along the eastern seaboard. General Galvez's efforts to assist the formation of our country were recognized by President George Washington, President John Adams, and by the United States Continental Congress. In fact, President Washington cited General Galvez's efforts as a deciding factor in the outcome of the war. Honorary citizenship is rare an extraordinary recognition granted to foreigners who have rendered great service to the United States of America. Only seven individuals have been granted honorary citizenship, including two Revolutionary War heroes, the Marquis de Lafayette and General Casimir Pulaski. And when our Founding Fathers declared our independence, they knew that they were going up against probably the world's most preeminent power, they chose to take up that battle because of their unwavering commitment to liberty and freedom. But they also knew that in order to be successful, they needed the support of allies and great men like the Marquis de Lafayette, Casimir Pulaski, and General Bernardo de Galvez. I want to thank Chairman Goodlett, Chairman Gowdy, Chairman Franks, and the staff of the Judiciary Committee for their assistance in moving this bill through committee. I also want to thank our majority leader for bringing this bill to the floor. I would encourage all my colleagues to support this measure to recognize General Galvez's immense contribution to his uh, history of our country by granting him honorary American citizenship. I yield back. Gentleman from Arizona Reserves, gentleman from Virginia. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I